associated with that pumpkin carriage that I created yesterday? Well, I have joined a, an open collaboration called Falling Into Harvest, and it is hosted by the lovely Sanji from Living Life to the Fullest and co-hosted by a myriad of lovely ladies, Gigi Faison, Timeless Elegance by V, Fabulous Designs on a Budget by Marilyn, and Me, Myself, and DIY It by Tammy. Now you are going to enjoy all of these women when you take a look at their beautiful homes and the way they decorate for fall. I will link all of their channels in the description box. And of course, I will show you a brief tag of each of their channels at the end of this video. Let's take a look at what I have created for this fun collaboration that I knew as soon as Sanjay introduced it that I had to join. Now, if you watched my video yesterday, you know that two of my viewers, who I just adore, suggested that I create a pumpkin carriage. Well, they didn't actually do that, but they thought that my theme this year would have something to do with a princess carriage. So, I created one and am quite pleased with how it turned out. And of course, if you watch yesterday, you will see that I added a couple of elements to make it work for this centerpiece. So you'll notice that I added a little princess sign on this side. I also added another word on the back. You'll take a look at that later. And I created a garland just out of some Michael's flowers and you know just to sort of elevate it that little bit more. For this centerpiece because and again you have to remember that this is called falling into harvest. So before the ladies announced this collaboration I had purchased, wait till you see them, these gorgeous heads of corn. Look at them, aren't they just beautiful? I bought them at Michael's. I just adore them. And I knew, of course, that I would use them for, you know, a fall tablescape and probably for our Thanksgiving tablescape as well. And to create this centerpiece, I started with this greenery from Michael's again. It's just very simple greenery. There were four stems, I popped those in. Then I added, I just took apart one of their purpley flowers, took that all apart and, and tucked those in. I've also tucked in a myriad of leaves. These are the white leaves that if you watched my video on Tuesday, you would have seen that these were in that tablescape as well. And then tucked in some other, you know, mauvey, plummy kind of pumpkins. I think I bought these at Joann's a couple of years ago, but I honestly can't recall. And then obviously, because we have this regal centerpiece, I thought, well, I must add in these really pretty little votives. And then, of all things, because you know how much I love peonies, right? I went down in my stash and I found three bunches of these gorgeous peonies and I bought these at Dollarama in Canada last fall. So that's really how I have set up the centerpiece. I tucked in a few other, you know, votives that you've seen me use many times. I think I bought these at Michael's about three or four Christmases ago and I just keep using them because it works in my home. Now this particular uh, table um, scape, I started with this really pretty placemat. And this placemat I found at HomeSense last year, but they have it again this year I noticed, so I thought how great is that? And then, of course, the next thing I did is I pulled out my Dollarama 
Notice those really glittery pumpkins for placemats. They look pretty on this. I actually tried two or three different placemats before I decided that's the one I want to go with. Then my chargers that are from the uh, home sense that I bought for actually my youngest daughter's baby shower. And you know, I always use a round of um, non-slip foam so that my dinnerware doesn't slip around when people are eating. And then added my Villery and Bosch china with a really pretty little plummy purple pumpkin on top. Now, one of the rules for this challenge is that we were to use an orange pumpkin. So I thought, well, that's not going to be hard for me, although I do have orange pumpkins. I'm just not happy to use them, you know, this fall, at least not yet. And I thought, well, when I decided that this was going to be falling into harvest and that I would have a princess pumpkin going through the land, looking at the bounty in, in, uh, in, you know, that are ready for harvest, I thought I best have, once again, these little crown um, napkin rings because they would work beautifully, and some gilded wine glasses because they would work beautifully. Of course, I have name cards and these are on little pumpkin um, name card uh, or place card holders. And again, these I bought at Michael's and was thrilled to find them. And you'll notice I've left the cards empty because maybe you would like to join us at this table. There's a number of other things that I always do at a table. You know that I always have individual salt and pepper shakers, or at least almost always. And of course, I always have a knife rest because that keeps my linens from getting overly stained. So you'll have to tell me what you think of this second tablescape for fall. I'm going to link my first tablescape for fall either up here or down in the description box because I'd like you to tell me what you think of them both. At the end of the day, when I ultimately set my table for Thanksgiving, I'm going to have either three or four tablescapes, at least that's sort of where my mind is going now, and I want you to weigh in which one you think that my family should sit at for Thanksgiving in Canada, which is the second Monday in October. So it's coming up very quickly. I would like to thank the ladies for hosting this lovely challenge. I had so much fun thinking about what to do. And of course, I really need to thank two of my viewers for even giving me this inspiration. I'm really quite tickled at how it turned out and it was a project that Harold and I did together. So of course, I think it's time to thank him as well. He isn't just my videographer, he also helps me with ideas and decorating things that I can't reach and doing all sorts of other things that I say, honey, I have an idea. And of course, that means I have something for him to do. So I, if you have not already done so, I would certainly appreciate if you would subscribe to this channel and thank you if you do and thank you if you already have. Give this video a thumbs up because you know that I like it and share this video with anyone who wants to set a pretty table for Thanksgiving or any other time of the year. Just think how pretty this would be for a wedding or a baby shower. Oh yes, one could do all kinds of things with this tablescape, couldn't one? So until next time, bye-bye.
Thank you so much for the host and all of the co-hosts for sponsoring this such fun challenge. I know I certainly enjoyed myself. I hope you enjoy watching their creations. And don't forget to check out the playlist because I know you will like what you see.